All right, so taking a look, uh, let's answer, try to answer these questions here. So what this means is what's y when x is 1? Well, go right here. When x is 1, we have this point right here, 1 comma 1. So the answer for this would be 1. Uh, what is y when x is negative 2? Well, that would be this point right here. We have the point negative 2 comma 4. And then this one, what's x when, what's y when x is 2? Here's x is 2. We have this point right here. It's 2 comma 4. Okay, so now let's find g. Now we can either graph it by starting at 0 and going up 2 over 1. Or we could just plug into the equation. Uh, we saw last time plugging into the equation was pretty fast, so that's what I'm going to do for this one too. So if we plug in 1 for x, what's the y value? Or what's g of 1? 2 times 1 is 2, plus 0 is 2. For this one, if we plug in negative 2, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. If we plug in positive 2, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 0 is 4. So I did ask you to compare them. So looks like g of 1 is greater than f of 1 for the first one. f of negative 2 is greater than g of negative 2. And for the last one, it looks like that they're totally equal to each other. All right, uh, so that should be good enough for week 5 and packet 5. Uh, I linked for the quiz and just click on that link and the quiz code is going to be 001JHNBN. All right, so put this into the link and you should be all set. That's 001JHNBN. Good luck on the quiz. I'll see you guys next week. Uh, actually, next week you have spring break, so I'll see you the following week on April 21st, which is a Tuesday.